Hi everyone, it's Ma from Sparkly Belly. Many years ago, I came up with this brilliant idea to make my own costume. I love dance costumes and I was so excited. The only problem was I knew nothing about costume making. I didn't know what a dance bra top was made of, I didn't know what fabric to use, and of course I didn't know how to operate a sewing machine. I didn't even have one. So naturally, I was very overwhelmed and frustrated. Sounds familiar? When you're just starting to make your own dance costumes, it can be confusing and very overwhelming. So in this video and next one, I want to help very beginners get started. In this video, you'll see what tools you need and easy projects to try. So let's get started. My channel is specialized mostly in belly dance costume making, but a lot of the basics I'm going to share with you today will apply to all kinds of dance costume making. Now, if you're new to sewing, you'd want to avoid sewing as much as possible. I totally get it. So the common question a beginner costume maker would ask is, can I make a dance costume with a hot glue gun? Unfortunately, my answer is no. I don't recommend using hot glue gun for making dance costumes. I have a few reasons for this. First, the glue can melt or get weak with your body heat as you dance in the costume. What happens if the glue melts? The costume would fall apart. Not a good idea. Second, the heat of the glue can ruin your fabric. And third, for making dance costumes, we use a lot of stretch fabric. And the glue may not stretch, so the seam may come apart as you put on your costume. Of course, hot glue can be a great tool for making something like Halloween costumes. But for dance costumes, we need more durability and strength, so I don't recommend using hot glue. So the next common question is, do I have to sew? For most part, sewing is better than gluing, but there are exceptions. For example, for decorating your costume with small rhinestones, gluing is perfect. Just be sure to use appropriate glue like Gemtac. See my tutorial for more on gluing on rhinestones. And there's fabric glue like this one and this one. If you really want to avoid sewing, you can give these guys a try. But based on my experience, fabric glue is never as strong as stitches. And it doesn't hold stretch fabric really well, even ones that might say stretchable or flexible. So instead of wasting your money on fabric glue, which can be pretty expensive, I recommend you learn how to use a sewing needle and thread. So what do I need to start making costumes? For very beginners, all you need is a couple hand sewing needles, scissors, and they don't even have to be this fancy, and a measuring tape or ruler. You probably have all of these at home, and they really don't have to be fancy. Just use what you have, pick up some inexpensive fabric or old t-shirt you have, and just give it a try. And you can upgrade your tools as you go. I'll share with you projects, easy projects, that you can try with these tools in a minute. Do I need a sewing machine? Not for beginners. If you want to make something like a skirt, then it's definitely nice to have a sewing machine. But if you're just starting out, build your skills and confidence by tackling easy projects first. Don't invest a lot of money. Costume making doesn't have to be so expensive. Where do I find easy projects? I have over 100 costume making tutorials on my blog and I'll include a link in the description below. But if you're new, first try these easy no-sew projects like this overskirt or crop top. These projects don't require much sewing and even where sewing is required, it's just a few stitches. You can even use safety pins for the time being. The important thing is you get used to measuring and cutting fabric. Then you can move on to making accessories like these armbands and this foot accessory. And try decorating costumes by using this ruching or pleating technique or beading. 
Even without a sewing machine, you can do a lot. You can make beautiful things like this swirly belt. And again, you can find all these tutorials and the catalog of all my tutorials at sparklybelly.com slash belly dance costume catalog. Now the next big question is, how do I pick the right type of fabric? In my next video, I'll share with you common types of fabric used in dance costume making and how to pick them. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my newsletter at sparklybelly.com so you won't miss the next video. And if you know a dancer who's struggling with costuming, help them out by sharing this video with them. They'll appreciate your love. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!